Hey everyone, it's Peter from Argo. We just put out an RNS and I wanted to walk you through it, uh, our monthly operational update. And we're trying something a little differently this month. We're gonna actually combine our operational update video with our Twitter Q&A video. So you, you sent a lot of questions in. I'm gonna get to those in a minute. But first, I wanted to walk you through just some of the updates uh, in the RNS. Uh, the first is that we have mined 206 Bitcoin for the month of August. It's down a little bit for the month of July. That's because difficulty has increased a little bit, um, given that there's some machines coming back online, some Chinese machines that are obviously coming back online. Uh, Petahash or Exahash right now is around 130 uh, overall for, for the network. Uh, we mined at an 86% mining margin, which is our highest margin of the year. Uh, so obviously that's, that's great news. Uh, and we brought in 6.83 million pounds, which is about 9.4 million USD uh, in revenue. All of which means we are currently holding 1,659 Bitcoin. If you do the math uh, and you add the Bitcoin mine this month with our hodl from last month, uh, you'll notice that we're, we're down uh, roughly 50, 60 Bitcoin. We did sell 60 Bitcoin this month uh, just to rebalance our portfolio. Um, in terms of other updates, we are uh, on time with the rigs uh, that are coming from Bitmain that we announced uh, earlier this year. Uh, I know lots of folks have been asking, uh, and, and so just wanted to clarify, we have you know over 500 petahash, 530 petahash coming online. A little more than half of those are expected to be delivered, are still expected to be delivered this September, delivered and installed this September, uh, this month. Uh, and the, the, the balance would be installed in October. All right, so that's the big picture from the RNS. I'm now going to jump into uh, the Twitter Q&A uh, and, uh, and let's see what, what people asked. Um, first question is from Damien. Damien J. McVee asks, uh, what will happen to the OTC stock when joining NASDAQ? I assume this will be an uplisting and the new ticker with ARBK. Um, so the new ticker, yes, will be ARBK. In terms of the process and the OTC, what's going to happen to the OTC stock, et cetera, um, we're kind of at a particular part of the process where I can't really give a ton of details about uh, how the uplisting is going to work, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but what we what we are committed to is uh, when it's appropriate to have a full FAQ up on our website. Um, perhaps we'll do a video as well explaining kind of how the process works um, as we get closer to to the time. Uh, not not appropriate to do to do that yet. And in terms of, you know, and obviously, Damien, this was not the only question from you. There was lots of questions from other shareholders about um, about how, how ARBKF and ARBK work together and et cetera. So we'll make sure that that, that information is out there when it when it's appropriate. Um, and, and just in general about NASDAQ, I can't really talk a ton about the process right now other than, uh, you know, it, it, what we've announced publicly and, and what you can read um, through through the RNSs that we've put out. All right, uh, another question uh, from Steve. Um, what is the main reason for ARB choosing to apply for NASDAQ instead of, for example, the New York Stock Exchange? Um, so we chose uh, NASDAQ because it's more of a, of a home for, for technology stocks. If you look at other publicly traded miners, uh, if you look at technology companies in general, uh, NASDAQ is, is seems to be the preferred home to the New York Stock Exchange. Um, and so and so that's why we chose NASDAQ. It, it, it's fairly straightforward. Um, second part of Steve's question, can you give my friend Callum, long longtime ARB shareholder and believer, a shout out? What's up, Callum? Uh, great to have you as a shareholder. Um, thanks for being a believer. And um, Steve, thanks for, for mentioning Callum. All right, a question about Texas uh, from John Wick. Uh, Mr. Wick, nice to have you asking a question again. Always appreciate your questions. Uh, hi, Peter and team. How's everything with Texas? Uh, build, can we have some more photographs? Uh, Texas is going well. You've seen we put some photos up. Um, John, well, sure, we'll, we'll dig more out as we go. Um, have to be a little bit careful about, you know, how we release them just given uh, the regulatory kind of environment. Um, but but Texas is, is coming along, it's on schedule. The, the building is, is uh, being manufactured uh, remotely and then being brought to the site and will be assembled on site, you know, starting uh, soon. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's coming along. We're, we're excited about it. It's gonna be a great facility for sure. Uh, what soccer team do you support? What football team or soccer team? I actually don't support any soccer teams over here. 
in Canada or the UK, uh, Canada or the US. Uh, in the UK, uh, if I had to choose a team, it would be Middlesbrough uh, for a couple reasons, but mostly because I have a friend who's originally from, from that part of, of the UK, um, that part of England. Uh, Alex uh, Appleton is actually also a Middlesbrough supporter, uh, our, our CFO. And also, I just like the fact that it, they're kind of a smaller, scrappier team. Um, so if I had to choose a team, I actually used to have a Middlesbrough jersey at one point that my friend gave me from a previous time in my life. Um, I don't know where it is anymore, but maybe I should get a Middlesbrough jersey. Cause, so, so if I had to choose a team, I'd say Middlesbrough. Uh, as always, thank you for everything you, you all do. Thanks, John. Appreciate uh, the question. Um, Brian uh, Nerona asks, Hi, Peter. Are there any intentions to install a solar farm with battery storage on some of the 320 acres so ARB could still mine BTC during shutdowns at peak times and sell power back to the grid at off times or utilize it if ARBKF reaches its agreed electricity usage? Um, that's a good question, Brian. And then there's another question from Reload kind of along the same lines, which is, uh, would you consider partnering with Tesla to supply solar panels for uh, the Texas facility? So look, uh, Reload and, and Brian, we're always going to evaluate, you know, idea, like power opportunities in Texas is, is why we're there. There's more and more renewable coming online. Yes, there's lots of solar coming in as well. Um, you know, we, we're really committed right now to our plan, which is to tap into this five and a half gigawatt substation, uh, the Cottonwood substation, which is in Dickens County, where we're building out. Um, there is also renewables that's being built out in other parts of Dickens County, even close to, to the facility. We're going to evaluate all of the opportunities as they come. Um, but for, for now, um, the plan is, is, is to really, you know, continue along what we said we were going to do, which is tap into the grid, uh, and target sub two cent power. All right. Next question, uh, from crypt Alex 007. Um, since you're coming to Texas, any thoughts on an advertising partnership with Mark Cuban and the Dallas Ma Mavericks Argo logo on their NBA Jersey just sounds sick or maybe Texas tech. Uh, yeah. Uh, in interesting idea. Um, we have not, you know, engaged, um, with any kind of, uh, professional sports teams, um, in a, in a serious way. I, I think there's, there's two approaches to, you know, marketing. There's like going with a big, you know, uh, like a big professional sports team and engaging with them. And then there's more kind of grassroots approaches and trying to kind of build from the ground up. Um, we're more of a grassroots type of organization in general than a big splashy organization that might change as we grow. Um, but I think part of what, what we, you know, like about ourselves is we're like kind of the underdog we're the little guy we're scrappy. Um, so all of our, I think advertising partnerships should reflect that kind of ethos. Um, but for sure, there's going to be things that we're going to look at in Texas, um, you know, in terms of engaging with, with the community in various ways. Um, so it's a good question though, uh, Alex, um, Yoda at Yoda, a Jedi, Jedi master, great handle. Um, when you report BTC mined during operational updates, does this include converted Zcash converted to BTC or is this held and cashed totally desperately? I think you meant separately. Um, so the answer to that is, um, yes, that includes Bitcoin and Bitcoin equivalents, which is, um, converted Zcash, uh, uh, Zcash, which is converted to Bitcoin. Um, and then. Uh, when you pay staff in Bitcoin, does this come out of these monthly mined amounts? So impacting the amount of HODL? Uh, no, we do not use our HODL to pay staff in Bitcoin. We convert fiat into Bitcoin um, to, to when we're paying staff in, in Bitcoin. Um, good question, Yoda. All right, next question from uh, Thanasis. Um, uh, at Sutos Thanasis, he's asked a lot of questions. Uh, so uh, thanks, uh, Thanasis, again for your next question o over the over the years, over the months. How long have we been doing this? I guess months, uh, quarters. Um, hello, Peter. Hope the team is well. How's the TerraPool development going? Um, TerraPool is going well. Uh, we're engaged with with DMG on it on a weekly basis and and making progress um, with everything that's going on with the company. You know, it's it's um, it's on the list. It's not at the top of the list every week, but it's we're we're kind of pounding away on it for sure. 
Uh, I saw recently a job posting for director of investor relations. Does that mean that you will appear less on future videos, updates, and the appointed director will take over? Hope you keep engaging with shareholders. Um, I, I think we'll have to see, I mean, in, in terms of how, you know, um, so yes, you did see the job posting. It, it is out there. Um, it's really for kind of North American investor relations, that job. Um, and I don't think it will mean that I will be appearing less on, on future videos. I think I, you know, part of my commitment as CEO is to engage with shareholders. Um, it's something I think it's, it's, it's good for shareholders. I think it's good for the company. I enjoy doing it. Um, so I, I, I don't think, um, I'm going to change that anytime soon. All right. Next question. Hassan. Um, bonjour, Peter. Un mot en français pour vos actionnaires francophones. Keep up the good work. Okay, so uh, Hassan is asking me to speak a little French. Je peux parler un, un peu de français si tu veux, Hassan. Uh, je suis très content qu'on a des actionnaires francophones. Uh, moi, j'étais né au Québec, alors français, c'est mon deuxième langue. Je parle OK, assez bien. Uh, puis quoi d'autre? Un, un, uh, quelque chose que pas beaucoup de personnes connaissent, c'est que moi, je parle une troisième langue aussi. Français, c'est mon deuxième langue, mais peut-être tu peux devenir, essayer de devenir mon troisième langue. Um, et peut-être dans une future vidéo, je peux uh, parler un peu de mon troisième, dans mon troisième langue. OK, merci pour la question. All right. Uh, Kay Witts uh, asks, Hey, Captain Pete and team. So the last few questions are mostly uh, lighthearted. So if you're looking for more Argo details, um, you're pretty much, we're pretty much done now. Um, Hi, Captain Pete and team. Two loyal Argonauts uh, are now repping on Rocket League. Do you want to join? All Argonauts are welcome. So Kay Witts, um, it's funny. I only play one video game and it happens to be Rocket League. Um, during the start of COVID, uh, I, my kids, we never had a PS4 or a PS5. Uh, they never had a video console because they were outside playing sports mostly, et cetera. Um, but at the time at when COVID hit, um, I said, let's get a, a, a video console game. And the game that was our favorite was Rocket League. So we played a lot of Rocket League. I'm, I'm terrible, um, but I do like Rocket League. It's a fun game. So sure, I'll, I'll hop on and play a lot of Rocket League with you guys. That'd be fun. Um, and then also, uh, when is the next GIF competition? Uh, I think people need opportunity to win free. Yeah, I do like our, I did like our GIF competition. I think we should do another one, but we kind of got a busy September. So October, I think we'll do it in October, uh, Kwitz. All right, last question is from uh, Lucy McLean um, at Green Pogo. Lucy asks, hi, you've all clearly been working very hard and relentlessly and your efforts are showing. So I just wanted to ask once again, how are you doing, Peter? Are you and the Argo team happy? Um, Lucy, thank you for asking again. Um, and I remember when you asked last time and I, and I think I said I was happy. Uh, it's hard for me to answer for the Argo team. I can really only answer for myself. Uh, and I would say I am happy. I am trying to enjoy the process of the craziness. Um, as my team knows, one of my favorite expressions is production, not perfection. And um, I kind of revel in production and in action and in pushing things forward. And that's pretty much what we do every day right now. So it's, it's busy. I like being busy. I like, you know, um, the challenges of, of, you know, obviously the, the projects that we have going right now are very challenging. Um, and when we achieve them, I will be, you know, hopefully happy and then on to the next challenge. So, um, again, it's really about process for me and about, you know, um, getting things done and we seem to be getting things done. So I would say, I would say I'm happy. Um, I would also say you might notice I'm in a different location. Um, so I'm not in, normally I've been working in Eastern Canada. I'm now in Western Canada for a bit. I'm going to be back and forth this year. Um, so you will see this backdrop sometimes. It's a new backdrop. These are not my books, but um, they're books of someone else's who I'm, we're renting their house for a bit. So um, yeah, thank you all for the questions. I appreciate it as always. Um, we're at a particular time in the process where we can't go into a ton of detail as much as we do as we can at other times. Uh, that's okay. That is what it is. Uh, we are committed to transparency and engagement and, um, and glad you are all, all and glad you are all along for the ride. Um, onwards and upwards. Thanks everyone.